How to enter the advanced menu on the QLXD receivers from Sure, And uh, the reason for this video is if you're expecting it to be like a ULXD receiver and the menu tree to be similar, it's not. So if you, do, if you need to do things like updating firmware on belt packs or changing IP settings in order to get the telemetry and data off of this receiver, you need to do so through the advanced menu. So let me show you that real quick. To enter the advanced menu, you simply hold enter and then menu, and now we're in the advanced menu. And I'm gonna press menu until I get to the setting I want. And right now, this screen is update, so this is where we could update the transmitters, like belt pack or handheld, and it shows you handheld or belt pack. And the next menu, this is our IP setting, so static or DHCP auto. And in static mode, if I press enter, I then cycle through my IP selections, so I'll just briefly go through these. These aren't what I'm going to use, but IP settings, and then subnet mask, and then gateway, and these buttons will give you the values. And that's how we, we take care of that, and then I want to put it back to DHCP mode, so I'm going to cycle back to that menu, static, auto, enter. Cool, that's it. I wanted to make this one super brief, almost like a diary for myself when uh, we have to update these, that they are different than the ULXD, and that's the process for the firmware on transmitters and accessing the IP settings. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.